Hello, and welcome to lesson five in sharing. This is where you can link objects like charts or tables into Google Docs or slides. This is a great way to be able to present your findings and your data to stakeholders or others in your organization outside of the spreadsheet. Now you can always make like a dashboard or a report within the spreadsheet, but a lot of times having something like a Google Doc or having a slide that you can present and linking these objects can be really helpful, especially with being able to link them and then have the data refresh just in case more data is coming in and there are some changes. That way you have the latest and the most current data provided you refreshed it. Here I have a document I'm going to start working on, which is this report. Now, all of this information is going from this table. Um, basically, there's departments, there's the projected income. That's, you know, what they think they'll make. This is the actual income and then the percentage, which is just dividing these. So in this example, if it's above 100%, it means that it made more than the projected. If it's under 100%, then it didn't make as much as the projected. Then there's quarters and then the year it is. So this is two years of data. Again, this is all made up, but you know, you kind of can see right away what's useful or not of, you know, in this coloring, which was conditional formatting. We'll look at that later though. In any case, what I did there is then I summed all of the numbers of the projected of both years in the food and beverage or you know by department and then the actual and then we'll see the difference of which company was making more or which department was making more or less and in, in the past two years so all that to say let's go into this document and what we're going to do i'm just going to go ahead and highlight all of this and copy it i'm going to open this report and underneath i'm just going to paste. Now, when you paste, you have the access to link to spreadsheet or paste unlinked. Unlinked would just be the values and it's not going to change or be dynamic. If you link it, it'll actually update if there's an update. Now, let's go ahead and add some of these, like the profits compared to projected. I just highlight this and you can see at the border, push control C to copy. I'm just going to go back into this one, paste it, again, link to the spreadsheet. And here it's a linked chart. This is a linked table. You can resize it. And let's get that last one in. Copy and paste. Link to sheet. So now we have all this data here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back. And underneath here, I'm just going to add more like technology. Let's say they had 500, half a million, 500,000. Let's just do 5555. Five, 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 five. Um, copy this, copy that. There we go. And so now we have this new, and you can see that this automatically updated for both of them. So now we have this department, um, technology added for both. And, you know, again, now that's completed. When I go back to this, you can see that these ones here don't have them. Now, if you click into them, you'll see this update. Also, you can just see here, there's a linked objects. So what you need to do is if you want to get the latest, is you'll have to press the update. When you do, now technology shows. Now I'm just refreshing this because sometimes it doesn't see that it's out of date. And so now, now the arrow's there. So the other thing you can do is you can go to tools and linked objects and you can just do update all and it'll get all of them now up to date. And you might have noticed here, technology is not showing on this. And that's because I only highlighted down five rows. So if I want more and if I want to account for more data, I'd have to actually go and highlight that. And maybe you want to highlight a little more like down to eight so that it'll you know, include more data. And I'm just going to delete that whole table and then paste it in and link it again. So now you can see that there's this other row that's just empty. But if we ever add something else, like let's just, uh, I don't know, do food only. 
Now we have food only here. You see that these updated. I'm going to go back here. And now everything could be up to date. So I'm just going to update all. And now we have food only. We have technology. We have all of those. So again, depending on how you want your look, because you'll have this extra row, you may or may not know that there's going to be other departments added. Otherwise, you can just update it to, uh, I just will remove that. And maybe just for fun here, I'm going to change this to be like six, you know, switch this up so it actually loses money. And, you know, say we got more data, go back here. And there we go. Now we have some updates to do. Before I do those updates, I'm actually going to share this. Let's say that we have anyone with the link is a viewer. I'm going to go to here in the Matt Jr. and take a look. So here, I only have access to view. Because of that, I cannot change these linked objects. So it is up to whomever is has editing permission to actually update those. So keep that in mind if you are trying to share this and you want someone to be able to edit or update these, they will need to be able to edit. The other part of this, and let's say that I share anyone in the link is an editor. I'm just going to refresh. Now we see that we can update and it'll update for that. Similarly, if this here, the spreadsheet, is in view only, when you go back, it will not let you update. You have to be an editor both with the report, with the linked objects, and the spreadsheet. So again, make sure that whoever is there, if you're asking them to update it themselves, that they have access both to the data on the spreadsheet and edit access to the Google document. So basically, if they're editing of both, then they can refresh. If they're only a viewer of one of them or both of them, they cannot. Again, might be a pro or a con. I can see it either way. It's a, you know, would be nice to let people refresh it, but at the same time, you might not want to, to refresh too often either. And it, it makes sense if you're viewing that you can't change the charts. So. Hopefully this all makes sense to you. Uh, again, I think there's a lot of use cases for this, especially to be able to have this data posted and you know you can update it regularly for stakeholders or you know you can just update it, send a copy to them, and then go from there. So this is it for linking to Google Docs or Slides. Again, if you go and make it slide, it'll be pretty much the exact same as we did here. So you can make a presentation and then you know update it just to have the latest numbers. So thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye now.